excited to see some of you in the studio next week for sure. I miss it. So child's pose, your choice. Knees can be closer together or more mat with distance. Uh, the wider the knees are, the more you'll feel the stretch in your hips. The closer the knees are, the more you'll feel in your lower back. The arms can be extended forward or they can be back alongside the toes. Forehead comes to rest down on the mat. Let's all take a nice deep inhale through the nose. Audible exhale. <sighs> so I was listening to one of my favorite yoga teachers. Her name is Rachel Scott. She's in Canada, but I follow her on YouTube and Instagram, all that stuff. And she was explaining this morning, dealing with change. And obviously we're always dealing with change. Life is consistently changing, but I think we could all agree that right now the change meter is kind of at an all time high. Um, and a good way to deal with that is coming to your yoga mat to remember who you are. So a lot of times when everything's crazy around us, we get caught up in our head, we get caught up in other people's stories, opinions, what we think we should be doing. And when we come to the mat, we can kind of let all of that dissolve away. And we can come back to ourselves, to who we truly are and to what we want, what we want our story to be. So with that next inhale, I invite you to just set an intention here. I am receptive to change. Starting to notice the hips and the low back or any other areas of tension that you're feeling here, maybe in the shoulders. Just send a nice inhale to that spot, let the tension dissolve. And if your arms are not already extended out in front of you, go ahead and do that, keeping the forehead on the mat. Coming into a more active child's pose, let's come up on the fingertips. So tenting the hands, rolling the shoulder blades down. So think about the creases of your elbows going up towards the sky. Feel that opening in the back of the heart and the shoulder blades. On our next inhale, we'll go ahead and rise up to tabletop position. So setting up, let's put our, place our knees under our hips, our palms under the shoulders, fingers are spread nice and wide. Keeping the elbows straight, but not hyperextending the arms. We'll go ahead and do a couple rounds of cat-cow, warming up the spine, dropping the tummy, heart comes forward, inhale. Exhale, curling the spine up towards the sky, chin towards chest. Taking it rather slow for the first couple rounds, really feeling into the spine, pausing anywhere that feels sticky or stuck and taking an extra breath there. Taking this chance to connect your breath with your movement. Wherever you are, let's take one more cow, one more cat. Meeting back in tabletop, a nice flat spine. We'll go ahead and extend our left leg back behind us, toes pointed down. Engage the core below the belly button to protect the low back. And you're pushing back through that heel so that left leg is strong. So inhale to lengthen out through that heel. Exhale, let's pull that left knee into the chest, curl the spine. So adding on to our cat cow, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, knee to chest. 
Let's go three more times. Maybe curling that spine a little deeper each time you bring that knee into the chest. Last one. Extend that left leg back out. We're gonna go ahead and swing it off to the side. So our left leg is coming out from the hip. The toes are pointed forward. We'll go ahead and come up. So keeping your left hand on your hip, right arm comes up to the sky, taking a nice side arch over towards that left leg. The left arm can come down the left leg if you'd like. Just opening the right side of the body. Feel the ribs expand. One more inhale. Exhale, let's bring our right palm down to the mat. This time our left arm comes up towards the sky. Open the chest up towards the sky and then bring that left arm over the left ear. So this time opening the left side of the body. I like to be up on my fingertips here on my right hand, it gives me a little more height. I'll either stay here if you like to go further. Let's pick up that left leg hip height. Toes are still flexed. That leg is still strong. And then we're going to bring our elbow to knee. So left elbow to left knee for one, extend, two, three. Re extend, drop that left leg. We'll bring both arms out in front of us. Dropping the chest towards the mat, forehead towards the mat. Send that breath all the way down into the belly. Then we'll walk our palms back in, putting them underneath our shoulders, meeting back in that tabletop position. Switching sides, this time we'll extend our right leg back behind us, toes pointed down. Remembering to engage the core below the belly button. So think about your pubic bone and your belly button coming together. Fingers are still spread, arms are straight. Inhale to push back through that heel. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, curl it in three more times. And one more extension, pull it in, re-extend that right leg, point the toes down, and we'll go ahead and swing our right leg out to the side, toes pointed forward. And coming up when you're ready, the right arm will be on the right thigh, inhale, left arm to the sky, exhale, side arch over towards the right. You can look forward. If it feels okay on the neck, you can look up under the arm. You can even look down to the right toes. Lift up through that waist, feel the left ribs expand. One more inhale. Exhale, back to center. Drop the left hand towards the mat. Right arm first comes up towards the sky. Roll the chest open. And if you'd like, the right arm can come alongside the right ear. Nice long line of energy from the right outer foot all the way to the right fingertips. Either staying here or picking that right leg up, keeping the toes flexed, right leg strong. We'll go ahead and take those oblique crunches. So inhale to lengthen, exhale, crunch it in. Inhale, exhale, pull it together one more time. Exhale, re-extend, drop that right foot, and just crawl the fingertips in front of you. Palms to the mat, drop the heart towards the ground. Breathe into the back of the body.
One more inhale. Exhale, walk the palms back in under the shoulders. Bring that right knee to meet the left knee. We'll go ahead and tuck the toes. Walk the palms in front of the shoulders. And we'll go ahead and lift and push back our first downward facing dog. So taking a few moments here to readjust the feet, making sure the fingers are spread wide. You're pushing into the knuckle pads, the outer rim of the palm to protect the wrist. Pushing the chest towards the thighs, heels down towards the earth. Three deep breaths here. You can sigh it out if you need to. You can bend into one knee and then the other. One more inhale. Exhale. So strong arms, let's go ahead and lift that left leg back behind us. So we're in a three-legged dog. Toes are pointed down towards the mat. Inhale for length. Exhale, begin to shift forward, pull that knee into the chest like we were just doing. And we'll step the foot up in between the palms. So keeping the palms down on the mat for just a moment, try to sink the hips down. You can rock a little back and forth on that right foot. And then we'll pause. Grounding into the feet, let's rise up into our high lunge. So squeeze the inner thighs together. Inhale to lift up out of the waist, arms to sky. Relax the shoulders. Let's bring our hands to heart center. We're going to slowly lower our way to the mat here, but in a more untraditional way. So let's bend that right knee and then push through that heel. Noticing how your lunge gets a little deeper there. So bend into that right knee again, then push through the heel and straighten the leg. One more time. So you're barely hovering above the mat. Push through the heel, drop the right knee down. So now we're in low lunge. Arms back up to sky. Exhale, palms come down. Let's shift it back into our half splits. The hips come over, come back, I mean. Left toes back towards the face. Waking up the back of that left leg here. Three more breaths here. Try to draw that left hip back. That next exhale, let's shift back towards the front of our mat, back into our low lunge. We're gonna bring both palms to the inside of our left foot. You can also be up on fingertips. So with that left foot, we're going to point it out towards the left. So if we were on a clock, our toes would be at 11 o'clock. And we're going to flex our left toes up towards our knee. So keeping your leg exactly as it is, thinking like of an Allen wrench or a ski boot, you can't move it. We're going to start to bring that left knee out towards the side. So keeping the toes flexed to protect the knee joint. Saying good morning to that left outer hip, the groin. Try to sink the hips lower. If you'd like to go deeper, you can come down to the forearms. We're just getting started though, so you don't have to do that. Let's take one more deep inhale. Audible exhale. <sighs> left foot comes back down. Toe heel it back to center. So the palms frame the left foot. 
We'll go ahead and tuck the back right toes, right knee off of the mat. Send that left leg back behind you, three-legged dog. Roll that left ankle out. Bring the left knee in towards the chest, doing some hip circles here. However big or small feels good for your body. Then let's re-extend that left leg, toes pointed down. Drop the left foot to meet the right foot. Let's inhale, shifting into plank, so shoulders past wrists. Dropping the knees. We're gonna take three yogi push-ups. So coming down, elbows graze the sides, so chaturanga, but instead of going all the way down, come up. So inhale to lower. Exhale, push up. One more time. Tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Nice cleansing breath here. Inhale through the nose. Sigh it out. <sighs> Moving that to the next side. Right leg extends up behind us, toes pointed down. Find length in the spine, out through the back of the heel. Exhale, start to shift forward. We're pulling that right knee in towards the chest and eventually stepping that right foot up in between the palms. So before we come up, keeping the palms down, just shifting a little back and forth on that left foot. Opening up that hip flexor. And then pause. Ground into the feet, squeeze the inner thighs together to rise up. High lunge. So that back knee may be a little bent and that's quite all right. We'll go ahead and bring the palms down to the heart. We'll make our way down to the mat. So let's bend that left knee and then push through the heel. So our lunge is a little lower each time. Bend that left knee, push through the heel. One more time, bend through the left knee and we're all the way down. Inhale, arms back up to sky. Maybe taking a little back bend here, looking up towards the sky. And exhale, palms come down to frame the foot, shifting the hips back, half splits. The right toes are pointed back towards the knee. Take five deep breaths here. Pull that right hip back so it's in line with the left hip. You'll feel the stretch intensify. One more inhale, exhale, coming back to our low lunge. So this time we'll toe here that right foot off to the side. Both palms will come inside of the right foot. <clears throat> right toes will flex up towards the knee. So we have that little ski boot shape or Allen wrench shape in our right leg, keeping it exactly like that. Start to roll to the outer edge of that right foot so the knee comes out almost like a little wing. And saying good morning to our right hip this time. Each exhale, trying to sink those hips a little lower. If the space is there, you can come down to forearms. The only reason I can do that is because I practiced this morning. Otherwise, I'd be up. I will take one more deep inhale here. Let it out of the mouth. <sighs> right sole of the foot comes back down to earth. Toe, heel it in between the palms. 
and tucking those left toes, left knee comes up, bringing that right leg back behind us, three-legged dog, rolling out the right ankle, bending the knee, taking some hip circles, so bringing the knee in towards the chest and up towards the ceiling, however wide or small feels good. Re-extend the right leg behind you, toes pointed down. Drop the right foot to meet the left foot. We'll go ahead and inhale to plank. Drop the knees. Three yogi push-ups here. Or you can stay here in this high plank version. You don't have to do the push-up. But if you'd like to, let the elbows stay along the sides, coming down, pushing yourself up. So inhale to come down. Powerful exhale to push up one more time. <sighs> Tucking the toes, downward facing dog, one breath. <sighs> Bend the knees, look forward, make your way to the top of the mat. So feet will come hip distance, taking a nice forward fold here. So a nice bend in the knees, letting the crown of the head drop towards the earth. Arms can dangle or you can grab opposite elbows. And if you'd like, you can do a little sway with the upper body. Notice the weight in your feet. Do you tend to more put your weight on the outer edges of the feet, the inner edges, the heels? the balls of the feet, maybe shift around on all four corners of the toe, of the feet. Finding a nice balance where all points of the feet are grounded equally. You have the elbows, release them so the arms are dangling. Then the knees even more and we'll slowly roll up. The head will be the last thing to come up. Stacking vertebra upon vertebra. And when the head comes up, roll the shoulders up to the ears, let them fall down the back. A couple times, nice shoulder rolls up to the ears, making the circles a little bigger each time. And then switching directions. So shoulders come to the front and then open towards the back. And we'll inhale our arms up to the sky. Nice big circle. Exhale, palms down to heart center. Close the eyes. Just noticing your breath. Noticing the sensations in the body. Maybe you feel some tingling. And blinking the eyes open, dropping the palms down. So at the top of the mat, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna ground into our right foot. So the hands can come to the hips to start. So lift up the toes on the right foot, feel the four corners of your feet ground down, and then we'll bring that left thigh to come parallel to the mat. So it helps to focus on something not moving. It also helps to flex the left toes back towards the knee. We'll bring the hands to heart center. And very slowly, we're gonna come into warrior three. So Torso starts to shift forward, the left leg starts to kick behind you. Pushing back through that left heel, try to keep those left toes pointed down. Yogi's choice with the arms, you can keep them at prayer. You can extend them out long in front of you. Airplane, whatever you want. That right leg may be shaking, that's okay. Keep breathing. One more inhale. On that exhale, start to bring the torso back up, bringing the left leg back to the front. If you need a pause, do that, 
or we'll head right into tree. So the left sole of the foot will come to the inner right thigh, the inner calf, or down to the ankle. Ooh. And if you fall out, come back in. We'll add a little challenge here. So let's inhale our arms up to the sky. Let's bring them down to 90 degree angle so we have a nice cactus shape in the arms. Let's inhale the elbows back behind us, opening the chest. Exhale, bring the elbows in front of you, curling the chin and towards the chest. So kind of a cat-cow action here in the spine. Inhale to open. Exhale to close it in. One more time. Inhale to open. Exhale, elbows in front of you. Coming back to those cactus arms. Hands come to hips. We're almost off that right foot, don't worry. Let's bring that left knee back in front of us. Extend that left leg out. See if you can lift that left leg a little higher. And release. <laughs> Inhale, arms to sky. Exhale, forward fold. Let's cleanse that out. Inhale, brings us up halfway. Exhale, forward fold, plant the palms, step it back, either up in high push-up or lower the knees, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to cobra. Exhale, lower, tuck the toes, push it back, downward facing dog. Or child's pose. One more inhale here and down dog. The bottom of that exhale, bend the knees, look forward, make your way back to the top of the mat. Once you arrive, inhale halfway up, straight spine. Exhale to fold. Inhale brings you all the way up, big arms. Exhale, palms down to heart center. Moving that little series to the opposite side. This time we'll ground down to the left foot. So hands come to hips. Lift up those left toes. Feel the four corners of your foot ground down. And then we'll bring that right left thigh up parallel to the mat. So flex the right toes up towards the knee. Focus on something that isn't moving. Breathe. And then bringing the palms to heart center, we'll go ahead and shift into that warrior three. So almost like your hips are on a hinge. The torso starts to come forward. The right heel starts to kick back, trying to keep those right toes pointed down so the hips are level. Use your breath to engage the core here. So a sharper exhale engages the core automatically. And then yogi's choice with the arms. So keeping them at prayer, airplane out in front of you. Keep breathing. We're almost out of it. Last inhale. Exhale, starting to hinge back, bringing that right thigh with you parallel. And then finding your variation of tree. Right sole of the foot to the calf, to the thigh, to the ankle. We'll go ahead and extend those arms back up towards the sky. This time, we'll bring our arms out to the horizon. And then I want you to push through your palms like you're pushing against two walls. So the fingertips will come back towards you. Pushing out through that wrist, you'll feel a nice deep stretch in the wrist and the forearm, maybe even up into the palm and the fingers. And release. So this time, instead of the palms pushing out, Bring the fingertips down. So almost like you're pushing on the walls now with the um, top part of your palm. The stretching the top part of our forearm. 
and release. Palms to heart center. Let's bring that right knee back to center. Extend that right leg. We're almost there. I know the left leg is cooking. Try to bring the left leg up, or I'm sorry, the right leg up a little higher. And release. Uh, arms up to sky. Exhale brings you down forward fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, halfway up, straight spine. Exhale. Either going into a flow or just back to downward facing dog. You're taking the flow, inhaling the plank, lower it down. Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog or child's pose. Three breaths. At the end of that third exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step, jump, or walk to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up, straight spine. Exhale, forward fold, release the crown of the head. Inhale, rises us all the way up. Exhale, palms down to heart center. Close down the eyes. Check in. Maybe you can feel the heartbeat against the thumbs. And blinking the eyes back open. Go ahead and drop the arms. So from here, let's step our left foot back about two to three feet. We're coming into warrior one. So the left toes will be pointed about 11 o'clock. The right toes are forward. And then we'll bend into that right knee. With the hands on the hips, guide both hip bones towards the front of your mat. Almost like there were headlights on your hip bones. You want them to shine towards the front corners of your mat. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Engage the core below that belly button so we don't have a sway back. And then we'll bring the arms up into it. So inhale to lengthen up through the sides of the body, stretch the fingers up towards the sky, and then relax the shoulders. Taking a little back bend here if you wish, opening up the heart, looking up towards the sky. And back to center, let's bring the palms back behind our sacrum, interlacing the fingers, roll the shoulder heads back, and then pull the knuckles down towards the earth. A really deep chest opener here. Let's inhale to open the heart. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward inside of that right thigh, coming into humble warrior. So the wrist will come up over the head, drop the crown of the head. You're looking back at that left foot. Pull the right hip in and breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, let it pour out. And using the power of your legs coming back up, release that grip, arms come back up to the sky. Left arm will come out in front of you. Right arm will come out behind you, coming into a twist. So keep your legs exactly the same. Last inhale, exhale, arms come back to center. Pause here for one breath. And we'll bring the palms down to the mat, framing the foot. Coming up on those left toes. Right leg comes back behind us, three-legged dog. So instead of taking a flow here, let's keep that right leg raised, shift into high plank. We're just gonna pull the knee in three times to our chest like we did in the beginning. So push back through that heel. Exhale, bring the knee to the chest one more time. Knee to chest. Right foot meets left foot in plank. 
Push it back, downward facing dog. Nice cleansing breath here. So deep inhale through the nose. Audible exhale. <sighs> Bend the knees, look forward. Make your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway up, nice straight spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root into the soles of the feet to rise all the way up. Calm down, a heart center. So hands come to hips. We'll step the right foot back, coming into warrior one. So this time the right toes are about two o'clock. Bend into that left knee so it's over the ankle. And with the palms on the hips, imagining those headlights on your hip bones, trying to light up the corners of your mat. Engage that core. So a good way uh, for the core to use the breath for the core. So if you inhale through the nose and you exhale, pushing the, your tongue to the back of your teeth, like a hissing sound, you'll feel your core engage automatically. So that's kind of a little trick I use when I'm in a um, pose that needs a strong core like this one to protect the low back. Just a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then that hissing breath, you'll feel it tighten up real quick. Then when you have that solid, strong base, bring the arms up to the sky. Try to lift up through that low back, expand through the ribs, relax the shoulders. Taking a little arch in the upper back, if that feels good. And we'll bring the hands behind us, interlacing them the opposite way, so the goofy way. Roll the shoulder heads back, knuckles down towards the mat, open the chest. Exhale, begin to fold forward inside of that left thigh, humble warrior. Crown of the head drops, knuckles come up. Pull that left hip back in. It tends to want to kind of sway out and get funky. Bring it back in line. Keep breathing. You're building strength here. One more inhale. Exhale, we're rooting to the soles of the feet, come up. Arms come back up to sky. Right arm in front of you, left arm behind you, coming into that twist. Extend out through the fingers. One more inhale. Exhale. Arms back to center, holding down, frame the foot, rotating on those back toes to lift up the heel, and sending that left leg back behind you, three-legged dog. So if you like, we can do those little knee pull-ins again on this side, or you can skip and stay in downward dog. Inhale into plank, shoulders are past the wrist. Exhale, pull the knee into the chest. One, two. Strong, three, left foot meets right foot, send the hips back. And let's all come to a child's pose. So lower the knees, send the hips back, bring the arm back towards the toes, rest the forehead down. Definitely deserve a little break here. We're doing a lot of work. Notice the quality of the breath here. Maybe you feel the heartbeat on the thighs. Working so hard, pumping blood and oxygen everywhere. I think it's so cool. Our heart is the first thing to develop. That's just like awesome. I love it so much. <clears throat> Our little hearts live so long. All right, guys, let's go ahead and come up. We're gonna go ahead and make our way onto our bums here. Let's lower down to our backs. And 
when you arrive, pulling the knees in towards the chest, rocking gently side to side here. <sighs> Take a cleansing breath if you need it. Let's make our way into reclined pigeon pose. So the right sole of the foot will come down to the mat. Left ankle will cross over the right thigh. Left toes are flexed back towards the knee. <clears throat> and pushing that left knee away from the body. Feel a nice stretch in the outer left hip here. If you'd like to go further, you can pick up the right leg, interlace the fingers behind the right thigh, or even in front of the right shin. We're starting to slow down our practice, you can close down the eyes. Starting to lengthen the inhales and the exhales. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Sending your next inhale to the outer left hip and letting the exhale dissolve any tension there. One more breath. Exhale, right sole of the foot comes back down. You can extend that left leg nice and long. Then she'll wipe her the foot, shake it out a little. And we'll switch sides. So right ankle will come across the left thigh. Right toes are flexed back towards the right knee. So starting by guiding the right knee towards the front of the mat. Deciding whether to stay there or if the space is available, going deeper, lifting up the left leg, interlacing fingers behind the left thigh or in front of the left shin. So it's a counter pose here. You're pulling the left leg in while at the same time pushing the right knee away. Try to keep the lower back on the mat. Just feel the sensations of the stretch. Send that next breath to that outer right hip. And let that next exhale dissolve tension. Last inhale. Exhale, left sole of the foot comes back down to the mat. Extend the right leg nice and long. Windshield wiper that foot back and forth. And we'll go ahead and come into a reclined butterfly. So the soles of the feet will come together, knees out, bringing the hands to the tummy, closing the eyes. If you need to place any props under the knees and they're available, please do. Just connecting with the importance of showing up on your mat. Getting static of your life to pause so that you can clearly hear your inner voice, inner wisdom. Here 
you're the author of your story. Feel the belly rise in your palms. One more deep belly breath, really inflate the tummy. Exhale, feel the belly button pull down, back towards the spine, bring the knees back in towards each other. Keeping the knees bent, let's extend, extend the left leg up towards the sky. Interlacing the fingers behind the left thigh. Just rolling out that left ankle again. Nice big circles, both directions. And then start to walk your palms up the back of that left leg. The shoulders are lifted up off the mat, trying to pull the knee towards the nose here. If you want to take it further, you can extend the right leg long. Maybe you can come up to the toes. Maybe not. And we'll release that left sole of the foot down, right leg extends up towards the sky, push up through the heel, interlace the fingers behind the right thigh. And then if you want, you can stay here. You can walk the palms up the leg, trying to bring that knee in towards the nose. Shoulders are up off the mat. your choice whether you want to extend that left leg or keep it bent. And we'll release spine back down. Coming into a nice twist here. So let's bring the legs up into little 90 degree angles. Arms come out to T position. We'll go ahead and drop both knees over to the left. The knees don't have to stay stacked here. They can be a little off kilter if it's a little too much. Well, the higher your knees are up towards your chest, the more you'll feel it in your upper back. The more your knees are down towards the hips, you'll feel it in your low back. So maybe just playing around with that and feeling what feels better for you. I love an upper back stretch in between my shoulder blades. I think it's one of the best feelings ever. Just that ringing out of the spine. If you wanna take the stretch further, you can extend that top leg long and grab the toes or the foot with your hand. Really turning your focus inward now. You have the toes with the hand, release that. Take a cleansing breath or releasing. Inhale through the nose. Sigh it out of the mouth. <sighs> Very gently, we'll bring the knees back to center. You might have to readjust the hips. Moving that to the other side. So knees come up, 90 degree angles. And then they just sort of tick tock over to the right. 
may have to scoot on your right hip there, make it adjust the right hip so it's more underneath the body. Allowing that left shoulder to drop down towards the mat, chest is open, open heart. If you like to take the extended leg, the left leg will extend out, grabbing the toes, right palm. I embrace change. Nice deep belly breath, inflate the tummy. Inside out, oh, belly button back towards the spine, knees back to center, readjusting the hips there. We'll go ahead and take shoulder stand. So <clears throat> I like to bring the arms down alongside the body, pulling the knees in towards the chest. And tuck the chin in towards the chest, keeping the gaze up. So do not move the neck at all. Very important. From here, you can kind of rock up the hips. So I like to kind of keep my knees bent, bring my hands to my lower back. So I have a nice base there. So almost like you're sliding your pants in your pants pocket. That's kind of you're holding your, your pelvis, supporting your pelvis. And then from there, you can start to straighten the legs up towards the side. Your toes can be flexed, pointed. This is too much. You can always just come down. Just kind of let the feet hang up in the air. So from shoulder stand, very gently, let's just bring the knees back in towards the head. Arms come down, hold the edges of your mat. And using your core and the strength of your arms, slowly roll the spine back down. Oh, hug the knees into the chest, bring the knees out to the sides of the ribs, so hugging them in towards the armpits. And staying here, taking a happy baby, grabbing the toes, the outer edges of the feet, or even just the back of the calves, the ankles. Just want the arms inside the legs. And rock a little back and forth if that feels good. We're coming to a static happy baby. Nice big inhale. Exhale to release. Final shavasana. Extend the legs out nice and long. Release mat width apart. Arms come down alongside the body, palms towards the sky. Tuck the chin in. Elongating the back of the neck. Coming into a comfortable, relaxing corpse pose. Feeling the energy in the body. tingling sensations, little electric pulses. The 
I'm going to leave you here in silence for a few minutes. Your only job here is to relax. these times of drastic change, it's important to show up on your mat, to remember who you are. To quiet other people's opinions, other people's stories. To connect with who you are, what you want. Slowly starting to deepen your inhale through the nose. Side out. Slowly waking up the body, bringing movements into the fingers and the toes. The arms will come up overhead, taking a nice long stretch. Ooh, maybe even sighing. And then pulling the knees into the chest, rolling over to your right side using your bottom arm as a pillow. Taking a nice deep breath to the back of that heart in between the shoulder blades. And finally using that top arm to push yourself back up, rising back up into the world, into your day, meeting back in a seat for just a moment. Keeping the eyes closed, staying inward for these last few seconds. Let's inhale our arms up, out, overhead. Exhale, palms touch down to heart center. Connecting right and left sides of our body. The yin and the yang. Sun and moon, feminine, masculine. 
Thank yourself for showing up. Thank you. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Namaste.